like and subscribe so this doesn't happen again with Rocksteady. Hello, beta testers. Before Marvel's Avengers dies, to absolutely no one's surprise, let's review Crystal Dynamics' Lies. So our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay-to-win scenarios. So naturally that was a lie, and it was quite on brand for a studio that would claim everything was always fixed. But if you ever stomach the cringe enough to actually watch one of these developer streams, they would bug out live and then try to laugh it off in a really awkward way. Do you have any idea how funny it was for me to watch developers actively denying and ignoring bug feedback falling through the map on their own stream while being pressured about what dates to expect content? And a female developer is saying, I don't see anything with upside down glasses on. We just need dates. We understand and we will give. Oh, you know what I do. fell. Everyone saw that. It's okay, guys. <laughs> you, you what? I didn't see anything. I, yeah, no, no, no one saw anything. Uh huh. So, one day I pipe up in their Twitch chat and a developer responds Enemies spawning under the map. Uh, if you know specific places where that's happening, uh, Sayal, just send that to me, please, so we can look into it. So, since players were constantly under scrutiny about whether or not they were telling the truth, I captured, edited, and proved the current build and issues I was experiencing, and like many others, I was banned. Not just on Crystal Dynamics' main Twitch page either. Some butthurt Crystal Dynamics developer abused control of the Xbox account to ban me before I'd said anything. And here is how those Xbox streams would go, by the way. Compromised, as usual, by bugs. In a hilarious attempt at promoting this dumpster fire being now available damn near for free on Games Pass, they're bugged to the point where they can't even move on their stream. This game couldn't even announce that it was shutting down without something going wrong. Ah. Download fail. Mission de downloads or reporting mission. There were updates that broke the game on entire platforms that had more on Avengers Discord moderators just suggesting people mess with their console because it's got to be the console, not the game, right? There were updates that plastered IP addresses on screen. And these animal developers obsessed with protecting skin sales had to be harassed into publicly letting everyone know that they were exposing their private information. The only thing matching the bugs in Crystal Dynamics Avengers game were the broken promises from developers who habitually fought players, fans, and logic like it was the final boss in their quest to stop hating themselves. The fact is, Crystal Dynamics tricked every player who bought Marvel's Avengers. People might have wondered what it said on the box, an Avengers game? You know? Uh, an Ultimate Alliance 4, but with better graphics, but what they got instead was Kamala and Pals, Games as a Service, a truly fitting adventure for a forced character so uninteresting, <laughs> the general apathy must have been choking people, you know what I'm saying? Avengers, but no Ant-Man, no Doctor Strange, no Scarlet Witch, no Quicksilver, no Wasp, just punchers and kickers, because that's easy. And maybe some arrow guys, you know, multiple, and, and expect more kickers on the way. But not like unique kickers, but like echo characters. To summarize, they nerfed XP boosts, sold paid boosters, and when the players made sure that the video promising that they would never do this made the rounds, some bozo Crystal Dynamics community coordinator direct messages claiming, you opened our team up to hate messages and it's impeding our ability to make the game better. To consider the human being. It's always weird how that always applies to them, but not the paying consumers who maybe have an issue with a defective product. This is what these modern developers do. It's not really an IP address, it's a string of text. It's not that paid boosters are pay to win, it's that you have a different definition of what pay to win is. Okay, and shills out here with hands so far up their butt are defending this? It only impacts a small amount of people, right? You know, streamers, content creators, people who want to broadcast themselves playing the game, right? Even though it's impacting a small portion of your population, the bug that does impact a small amount of players, but the unfortunate thing is that even though it impacts a small amount of players, even though this bug may only affect a small amount of people, if you're not a streamer, if you're not someone who cares about broadcasting your gameplay, does this impact you? No, it really doesn't. 
I hate this channel. No, no. If you're not a content creator, you're gonna look at that and be like, whatever, who cares, right? This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. I completely understand that some of these people have never had friends, a sense of community, or especially attention online and would have done and said anything. I get it. Normal players correctly drop this game because of the goalpost moving that the devs were doing right off the bat. Before another nerf, Crystal Dynamics claimed leveling up was confusing and overwhelming, their words. Their studio head, Scott Amos, has referred to training rooms as endgame content. Kate Bishop is definitely a fan favorite. That's what they told you. Don't ask questions, consume. People are just posting L's in the chat for their own health, I suppose. It's not pay to win. It's only a string of text. Crystal Dynamics used Chadwick Boseman's death to lie about content they had yet to finish. Didn't even have campaign replay for over half a year. And some of these children in the official Discord couldn't keep my name out they mouth because they, they want violence against me for daring to go against their divine garbage. This game is this way because of you fools. For me, it's always been about getting this thing better for a better experience for people. 80 years of Marvel? Two villains, though. Not this, this. Spider-Man is one nigga. <laughs> and nickel his villains in his game. And this is a team, and there's two. Instead of popular Marvel locations, biomes, generic, recycled biomes woof here go the movies this is tv this game has kamala khan traversal in pretty much everything is slick fast preserved momentum hypnotic therapeutic but in a superhero game you get around like this when they try to tell you what you like it doesn't work but avengers is what happens when the community accepts whatever they're given this is where i'm going don't let it happen with Rocksteady. Halo wanted your life if you wanted to level up, and it wanted your wallet if you wanted to change color. So gamers said no. Call of Duty skill-based matchmaking so aggressive players said no. 73% player fall off. And Call of Duty Season 2 is delayed. Saints Row reduced chest sizes, removed jiggle physics, took away voice pitch sliders, took away feminine walk animations. A buggy, unfinished game wasn't enough. Their community manager was jumping online, cranking that haters gonna hate. Volition community manager Deadly Steph really told fans to quote, die mad, end quote and call the fans terrorists, literally. I stack cake with the anti-comedy in their game because their team is woke. Among the things that we think about a lot, you know, are, are make sure that you're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude. Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. How creatively bankrupt would they need to be to do this? Gotham Knights. Buggy, clunky, unfinished, slow, because the team is woke. But credit where credit is due, even though it's effortlessly the worst Harley. They marketed their game properly. Hmm. Battlefield is a shooter, but they took away the scoreboard, so players said, Nope! Modern Warfare a shooter. Said, we, we don't want to punish shooters in the shooter. At a glance, the consumer can see that something is not appealing to them. To be blunt, we can see something's wrong with this. You could have made anything. Make your fucking Forspoken game with your talentless ass. You know what I mean? Why are you grabbing onto this property that you don't understand and figuratively taking the dinosaurs out of Jurassic Park? You can't call it this after that. 
Avengers is making every skin free and people are claiming like, oh, that they're doing this because they want it. We think they love you and they care about you. They're doing it because they don't intend to fix any of the still broken skins that suckers have paid for, probably expecting that at some point it would be fixed. That shit ain't getting fixed. And I try, you know, nobody's telling you these things. Learn from experience here. If Avengers cared, it would reverse the laundry list of like changes that just made it a joyless experience. And they they put mandatory uh, exotics on the loot synthoids. They would uh, they disabled respawning enemies back in the day. I'll find the footage. They had the, the it. it <sighs> I haven't even mentioned Soy Squad yet, and the video's getting long. But you recognize the parallel, Harley is the one among this D team who is popular. The most popular female character for DC Rocksteady. And you got Harley Quinn Rocksteady out here looking busted, fugly. Got girls going, oh, what, you know what I mean? Please tell me the whole model changes with these different skins. Ooh, man. <sighs> That at a glance looks like Saints Row does. What happened? A downgrade. All this preaching about diversity and inclusion, but you always exclude the curvy women. Fuck y'all hypocrites. Developers, I you telegraph so easily what you're about, and we would literally rather give these Eastern developers twice the money that y'all asking for a full price game and a battle pass avengers spent so long fighting people on hair on comic book accurate skins too late stupid too late you gonna fight people how you course correcting now it's way too late but if your game wasn't out rocksteady maybe you had time Because who do you think you are? You think you're Genshin? You think you're Capcom? Is this a Resident Evil? Is this Monster Hunter? Is this a Street Fighter? I apologize to literally anyone who, whether you are or are not, want to embody or have an avatar that's a curvy person. And these insecure Screeching about equality while maintaining inequality, developers refuse a a attractive people. But it helps us mark y'all. And I want y'all to know that it marked Avengers. And you should get far away from Avengers, Rocksteady. I tweeted at Jake Solomon of the Marvel Midnight Suns game, Marvel desperately pushing short hair on Carol Danvers when fans would pay for normalcy, how DC of them. Jiggle Physics waifu billions in Genshin, Butch Qatar dress code Karen in Midnight Suns. I watched some streams. I heard the term Karen when she came up six times. I can make a little super cut for you if you want. My Angry Joe was one of them. Hilarious. The Saints Row modern gaming design approach. Damn. Jay Solomon specifically says, I'm the one who wanted the short hair, not Marvel. I felt it reinforced the military aspect of Carol, which I wanted to push to contrast with the Suns. Frankly, she's a very different character than the Ms. Marvel that led the Avengers. Not politics at play, but story. To which I respond, shouldn't conflict with popular alternate styles for heroes. Maestro Hulk and Spider-Man symbiote didn't fit the iterations relevant to your story either, but you can't pretend they aren't so popular that you can literally charge extra for them as they are currently available as microtransactions in Midnight Sun's cash shop. So why the inequality? You think people don't enjoy kicking Marvel's Avengers? They fucking deserve it. And so will you if you walk down this road again.